let's uh, let's start off with this intrusion onto my uh, into my pleasure zone by saying that I've regretted everything I've ever said, especially to a camera. So we uh, from there we can go on from there. I guess it was my idea to suggest that Norton per start performing with with Banyan. I had met Norton in maybe it's unclear at this point, but probably around 1980, 1981. He was performing in a group called Panic with a uh, percussionist named Zam and uh, an electric saxophone player named Snake Pit. And they would basically improvise, as far as I know, and Norton would paint. And I was really impressed with Norton. It started when Nelson actually and I met in a, uh, in, a, in a dyke biker bar called the Taurus Tavern down in Abbey Kennedy in Venice. And uh, it was, um, I was painting basically sexual acts among people, the Dick Tracy crowd. And it was, well, we, we, we never had an audience. For some reason, we couldn't find a target audience. I thought it was bar mitzvahs. I took my act out on the road, and that didn't work. When I had my concert series at the Alligator Lounge for a few years in Santa Monica on Monday nights, I would invite Norton to come down sometimes and do his thing. And uh, we even had uh, Snake Pit come down uh, and play with my old trio, and Norton would paint. And so when I got a sense of of where Steven was at with a lot of this stuff, I thought maybe that Norton would work, you know, to kind of create an event. The last gig I remember with Mark Nishida was at some little club on Santa Monica Boulevard in Hollywood and Thurston Moore was playing with us and, and his keyboards didn't work the whole time and he finally got him to work at the very, very end of the, of the show. It was in the afternoon on a Sunday and he broke his keyboard in half and after that he stopped playing with Banyan. Um, I don't think it was because his key keyboards weren't working that he quit playing with Banyan. And why do we, why are we here? You know, my little five-year-old girl told me last night. We said if you were going to ask this, if there was a God and you had one question to ask him, what would the question be? And my wife said, uh, "Why are we here?" And, and my little girl, my five-year-old, said, "Mom, that's so obvious. Why are you blowing a, uh, Why are you blowing your one question to God with a stupid question like this?" And my wife said, well, Coco, her name's Coco the Fiber, says, why are we here, Jesus? Mom, to take care of the plants. If we don't breathe, the plants will die. We're basically cows, right? We got it wrong. We they do this whole thing, man. We become artists and musicians and statesmen, and we try to stop wars. And stuff. But basically, we're here just to breathe, make sure that plants get old, too. Oh, no, carbon monoxide. Thank you, Norton.